Wednesday morning, February 8th or 9th, but playing the piano this morning. I'm waiting for my tea to warm up for my drive to work. I'm coming up with this weird pattern. So my daily routine, I woke up this morning about five. I checked the emails. I was going through my bank stuff, kind of just relaxing, playing some flight simulator, made some oatmeal, took my vitamin supplements. I've got water, so I drink. A, try to drink enough water during the day. I drink two Nalgene's throughout the day at the office, and then a mug of tea after my two cups of coffee. Yeah, I still drink a lot of coffee to, to wake up. And then I drive to work about half an hour, 10 hours at the office, and then I'll try to get a workout in in the evening. That's the plan. Driving to work this morning, um, just thinking how much time we spend in our daily routines just to uh, get by. You know, this weekend I was up in Wyoming uh, checking my expenditures and it was a $500 weekend and I was trying to justify it like, oh my God, I lose so much money. Um, but you know, that money was money I created for myself to do stuff like this by not drinking. I had that opportunity to use that time which I wouldn't have had if I was wasted. And so I was using it for something new, something explore, exploratory, something I wanted to go see. But I'm also thinking too, like the amount of time we spend in our days without putting focus back into ourselves is crazy. We only get a handful of hours a day, maybe two or three hours to really do what we need to do. And then after that, it's all commute, it's work, it's chores, it's the obligatory items that we have to take care of. So maybe my channel or one of these videos here, I, I'm going to outline the structure of a typical day to try to be aware of the time involvement that we put in just to get the day done, just to take care of business. You know, we're part of this larger human organism of society and we're really just the functional cells to keep the society operating but we often overlook the importance of our our valuable time that we've got to use on our own endeavors done it in front of a school bus there um, so yeah, our, our time is valuable. We need to reflect on what we do in our free time. I'm finding without drinking, I've got some new hobbies like you saw there, playing piano. I'm trying to take care of my health more, getting into the gym more. Um, I don't know if I'm really eating better. Like I kind of am giving myself a little bit of a break just to eat whatever I want to eat to stay new, you know, to stay full, keep my nutrition up. I'll uh, cut back a little bit here and there on the food. Um, and then new hobbies too. Like I stopped into a uh, astronomy or a uh, telescope store yesterday and I was like, I was right on the fence of, about to buy like a really badass eight inch cast grain telescope with all the automation and uh, controls. I was like, you know what? No, I, I've got to watch my spending. But like I do, what I'm saying is I want to use my free time as the purpose of my life and you know the symbol of the telescope is just looking out there like seeing how big this place is seeing you're part of something much bigger you're not just this sub-routine running in the society um, i know we need to look within that's really where we're going to find the answers but i'm finding without the distraction of alcohol there's so much more out there um, that seems mind-blowing and fascinating so back on the road
seven o'clock, long day. I had to get a vet clinic design done, so I had to work late. Um, trying to decide where I'm gonna go for dinner tonight. Barbecue sounds good, or... Pizza? I don't know, I'm trying to eat nutritious, like I keep saying. Maybe I'll just skip dinner. Need to get something though. But anyway, long day, driving home.